California streets, and Regina Jones is behind the camera, narrating what's going down. The car, up ahead, baby. It's already giving folks something to worry about. I'm in the car with my husband and my daughter, and we see this car in front of us driving erratically. My husband said, hey, start recording this, because we could feel that something was gonna happen. And just like that, boom, their gut feeling is dead right. That car smashes into the tunnel wall like it's auditioning for a stunt scene, flipping and tumbling like nobody's business. Everything just went like blank for a minute. Now it's just lying there on its side, looking all kinds of tragic. Regina's family, they're shook, trying to figure out how many folks are trapped inside and Go help them, babe. what shape they're in. So Regina's husband, being the hero he is, steps up to check it out. When he comes back, it's all hands on deck. We hear this guy, he's trying to push his way out of the top of the car. Regina, her family, and some other good-hearted folks rush to the scene, doing whatever it takes to get that man out. Finally, they manage to pull the driver out through the windshield like something straight out of a movie. Meanwhile, others are hustling to free the passenger, who Regina is pretty sure is the driver's pops trapped in the back seat. They can't get the dad out. The dad is still in there. Come on. Not long after, the authorities roll up, ready to take over. Regina watches as they work, and thankfully, both folks in the car make it to the hospital. Oh, terrible. Now, when it all shakes out, turns out the driver catches a DUI charge. They slap him with three years of probation and a solid three months of alcohol and drug counseling. It's a straight up reminder that driving under the influence can mess up more than just your own life. It's got a ripple effect on everyone around. They can't get the dad out, the dad is still in there. But Regina, she's out here trying to focus on the good, holding on to that silver lining, no matter how thin it might be. So many people just came together to just try and help this guy get out of his car. I cry a tear because I just thank God that they were okay. I'm in the car with my husband and my daughter, and we see this car in front of us driving erratically. My husband said, hey, start recording this, because we could feel that something was going to happen. So many people just came together to just try and help this guy get out of his car. I cry a tear because I just thank God that they were OK. Everything just went like blank for a minute. Go help him, babe. You guys should try and push the car over and get him out. He's trying to get out. Right away, we hear this guy. He's trying to push his way out of the top of the car. Got him out. They got him out. They can't get the dad out. The dad is still in there. Come on. Oh, terrible. Go ahead and bail. Can't get the dad out. The dad is still in there. So 
many people just came together to just try and help this guy get out of his car. I cry a tear because I just thank God that they were okay. Five, five, five.